Hey guys, so this is a day in the life of a hypochondriac. Um, I've been sick for about a week, okay? I'm just going to kind of tell you how today is going, alright? I'll give you a little background. been sick for a week. I've had a really bad sore throat. Um, yesterday my ears started hurting, so I have about an earache. And what many people would normally think of this being is a common cold or a sinus infection. <clears throat> uh, but... What do I think it is? What What is my brain trying to tell me it is? It's trying to tell me that, you know, I have throat cancer or thyroid cancer or something like that. And I know that sounds nuts. I know that sounds stupid. Um, <clears throat> but it's kind of like what goes on in my head. So I woke up this morning. Throat was completely swollen up. Um, this cold feels differently than other colds that I've had just because of the way that I think and perceive it to be. Um, it seems like the pain's more isolated over here instead of just a widespread cold throat being sore kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> but it's like that in the morning, then it goes away, and then I just have that constant pain here. So in my head, I'm just thinking, you know, I got throat cancer because I've dipped for so long. You know, I've dipped and I drank a lot of alcohol in the past. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's basically what I think is going on. I have throat cancer, so... I go to work today, I'm miserable, I'm wanting to get off work early because it's Friday, and all I can think about is going to the clinic, so I go to the clinic at uh, Walmart because I get insurance, my insurance goes through there and I can get like a really cheap visit, so I go there and they say that they don't have any open spots for today, and the soonest they could see me is tomorrow at 4, um, <clears throat> I was like, okay, I got other stuff I gotta do, whatever, I booked an appointment for 4. And I went to go do some stuff, and then I was stressed out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get this handled now, you know, because I'm scared. I was like, I need to, what I'm thinking in my head is I need to go get some antibiotics to prove to myself that that it's not just an infection, that indeed it is cancer that's killing me as we speak, <laughs> and um, to go and get that handled. So I get home, my throat's even hurting worse because I'm even thinking about it more, so it's like throbbing. I'm like, you know what, well, okay, I'm going to go to a different clinic even if I have to pay more. <clears throat> so I go in this other clinic. I'm sitting there for like an hour in the waiting room, and there's this family that's in there, and these kids are being loud. I can just feel my blood pressure get going up. It's like I'm thinking like these people don't even know I have cancer, that I'm dying or something. It's like what's going on in my head. Um, it's sad, I don't know. And I get back there. <clears throat> Every time I go to the doctor, by the way, I don't know if any other hypochondriacs are like this, Whenever you get your blood pressure taken, it's always higher than probably what it should be at resting because not only are you stressed, but you're stressed when you're there. And you have higher blood pressure just because you know you're getting your blood pressure taken, so your blood pressure is higher than every time you get it taken than normally. So that happens with me. I always have like 10 points higher when I get it taken. They're like, your blood pressure's a little high, you know. <coughs> so it kind of looks bad on my part every time, but it's just because I get stressed out. My heart rate's always at like 90-something, close to 100, <clears throat> because my heart starts beating fast when I'm in the doctor's office, because I'm like, I'm about to find out that I'm dying. <clears throat> so the doctor comes in, and she checks my throat, and she's like, yeah, it looks pretty bad in there, and I've got cold stones, she's like, you got some sinusitis, or however you pronounce it, and uh, she checked in my ear, and I had, uh, she said I have a bad ear infection, so she gave me a Z-Pack, or a prescription for a Z-Pack, or whatever, and you know... I should just be like, okay, I trust her, you know, I should just be like, you know, that's fine, I, she didn't see anything abnormal, you know, I'm not even running the fever, <clears throat> I'm below normal on my fever, actually, so, um, below normal for my normal body temperature, I'm like 97.9, but whatever, apparently that doesn't mean anything to me, so I go home, I get home earlier, and <clears throat> it stops hurting a little bit, so it makes me feel a little bit better, but there's still that part of me that, like, doesn't trust the doctor, trust what she said, that she don't know what she's talking about, and it's really, that's the problem, that's the problem, like, <laughs> with hypochondriacs, you go to the doctor, they tell you, they give you a prescription, you just don't trust what they say, you think that, you know, you know what's going on better, and, and in some ways, you know what you're feeling more than they know, but you all of a sudden, you know, you just blow things up if you're a hypochondriac, so that's just the stuff that I'm struggling with, I'm going to keep taking my medicine, you know, and we're going to go on like this, and I'll see how it goes in a few days, and I'll probably find out that it's nothing more than a sinus infection, even though I feel like it's something that's killing me. It, it's really sad. Uh, hypochondria, it's, 
It's, it's no joke. It's real. It sucks. Your mind creates pain. Create You obsess over your body. It's just ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> I can still live my life with it, but it definitely makes things like not as, you know, relaxed. It's just an unnecessary stress. I used to have panic disorder. That's when it all started. But uh, I, I don't have panic disorder anymore. I don't panic. I don't have panic attacks. <clears throat> and my overall anxiety is going down. But my health anxiety still remained high up there on the list. I'm always like nervous about any bump I get or my fever. I think I'm dying. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to get better. But any words of encouragement from any of you guys? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sick. Or I have throat cancer. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, if y'all have any words of encouragement or any advice or tips or anything like that, I'd be, you know, I'm glad to talk with you and whatever, okay? Because this is basically what my channel is about. It's about giving advice and stuff, but I'll love to take advice too. So, if you want any other videos, I also have tips and advice on stress and on other areas of stress. Obviously, I still need help and work on in this department, but I have tips on other stuff with alcohol and tobacco and... <clears throat> you know, addictions and stress and panic disorders and stuff like that. So, check out my channel, watch my other videos, and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thanks a lot.